welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do today the updated uh, colouring book collection and finished pages. So I'm just going to jump straight in and start off with the hardback book. So I've got a big pile at the side of me and I'll have to do it in bits and bobs. Um, so I think this is the only Maria Trolley book that I own. Uh, I love the paper in this. I really really love the paper in this. If the paper in this is the same as the other ones, then I'll be definitely getting the other ones. So if anybody could let me know, I would really appreciate that. I haven't tagged any of these pages beforehand. I do apologise. Um, I probably won't be able to remember every single media. I'll have to look at the back and see if it's bled through. So we've got watercolour paint for the green and the blue and I've gone in with the details which it probably would have been Black Widows at the time um, I haven't done a massive amount in this one I did really enjoy doing this one acrylic background, black uh, there's ink tents and Prismacolor and a white gel pen and there's also a Wink of Stella in the um, I can't think of the name. The bubbles, the bubbles. My brain just wasn't functioning then. It's too early in the morning. Anyway, we'll carry on. So this was a base of alcohol markers and watercolour. And then the fish are all in ink tents. I haven't even gone over this with coloured pencil. I was quite happy with the way that it looked. But now that I'm looking, I think I've gone over that with the Ganza Tambi watercolour paint as well with the whale. You can see how shiny it is. It has warped the paper a tiny bit because of the watercolour. Again, water, uh, watercolour paint. Again with this and ink tent. This paper takes it fabulously. So I'm enjoying using water mediums in this one. That was all gel pen. Gel pen for the flowers, uh, the insects. And again with the Ganza Tambe watercolour paint at the bottom. I think that might be it. Oh, I started her hair. <laughs> so that, that's my one and only Maria's trolley. If I, yes it is. Yes, definitely it is. We've got Hannah Cows on, Winter Dreams, a little mini postcard one. Uh, gel pen, plain and simple, just gel pen. Just really easy. You can sit there and watch TV while you're doing it. I know that there's a rabbit one that I've done that I can't find. There it is. So this is a mixture between gel pen and Prismacolor. As you can see. And that's everything that I've done in that one. Uh, which one is this one? So is it... It's a therapy. I thought it was Hatchet Heroes. Or is it? Yeah, it's Hatchet Heroes, yeah. I think I've only done... I don't even think I've actually finished a page up in this yet. So this is a work in progress. I've just gone over all of it with watercolour paint again. So I need to go in with the details for that one. And then here I was testing out uh, some fine liners, which they don't agree with me. I don't like fine liners at all whatever the brand I don't like them um, this isn't the sort of colouring book I would have bought for myself but my son picked this out when he went to Disneyland Paris so I will use it and I do love it for the fact that he picked it out for me but yeah if it was up to me I would have chose one with less patterns in but nonetheless at the ink house uh, I haven't done many in this one. That's one that I definitely, definitely need to do. With the little sausage dog, is super cute. So let's see. And again, I think I've used ink tents in this. I've used a tiny bit of Distress Ink there, testing out how the paper would react. Stencils, they work out okay. So yep, the crab, ink tents. I don't think... Oh yes, the butterflies. Again, ink tents. This paper takes it really well. It's not actually a colouring book, this I don't think. Um, but us colourists are using it as that, aren't we? 
So yeah, that's the ink house. Uh, we've got another Hannah Carlson one. This is just the portrait one, uh, the artist edition. I finished this one on, did I do it on stream? I can't quite remember. I can't quite remember, but this was the first time that I used Pan Pastels for the skin. I have gone over with a little bit of pencil. There's stickles, there's gel pen. So yeah, that'll be in this month's finished pages now. It was like a day short of being um, in last month's. I've tagged this page, I think that's what I'm going to work on next with Pan Pastels. Really nice boot that, the paper's really nice, it's more like cardstock. Uh, I think I've shown this book numerous times. I think you're probably all bored of it now, but I do need to include it nonetheless. Because it is in my collection and it is um, finished pages. So technically they're not all finished pages, they're finished backgrounds. So I've started with Pan Pastels with this one. I need to go in and do more details. Uh, watercolour background, I won't go specifically into detail with every single page because I've done a video uh, dedicated just to this book, me finishing the backgrounds. But I do know that there's gel pen and soft pastels, again with soft pastels. Black Widow pencils, I think. Uh, Neo Color 2s and Glitter Nail Polish. Acrylic paint on both of them, both sides. Distress Ink, acrylic paint and I can't remember which watercolour paint this is. It's either the Ganzai Tambi or the one that I got from Etsy that I cannot remember the name. And uh, Super Tips, Crayola Super Tips for all the blue, blue that you can see. I think this was intense. I think it was, and I've gone over with something else that I can't quite remember what it was. Uh, gel pen, that's all this is. Gel pen, really easy one. Uh, oil pastels, and I use zest it to blend it all out. Intense again, no background, but I use Black Widow pencils. I remember doing this one because I was in Wales. Uh, Neo Colour 2. Crayola Super Tips and Jane Davenport uh, Silky silky Skin, if I remember correctly. And another Pan Pastel tester page, which I don't think I've done too bad on that. I'm impressed with that one. I've just gone over it as well with her spray and it's like... Nothing comes off, brilliant. Uh, soft pastel again and gel pens, ink tents. This is a completely mixed media page. I think it's ink tents, uh, neo color twos, the liquid fabric 3D stuff. That's only cheapy stuff. And washi tape. One that I finished last month. Again with the ink tents background and washi tape. Prismacolor pencil, that this is all pencil, nothing else. Uh, Neo Color 2. Why did my voice go to? Yeah, Neo, Neo Color 2. Uh, soft pastel again. Uh, stickles, or the cheaper version of the stickles, I can't remember. Ink tents. Uh, mixed between soft pastels and ink tents. Uh, ink tents again. I've just put in circles and there's um, glitter nail polish over the top of each of the galaxy circles. Let me see. Another bit of a mixed media one, ink tents, gel pens and nail colour. Acrylic, acrylic paint, ink tents uh, and for the actual picture itself, I think it was polychromos, white gel pen, stickles and the Pentel Hybrid on the headdress. Acrylic paint, washi tape, little heart stickers, uh, stickles, another mixed media one. I enjoy doing the mixed media ones, I really do. Uh, this is collage paper that I've PVA glued. 
in, like rip, ripped apart, PVA glued in. Uh, the Silky Skin again from Jane Davenport, all gel pen. Uh, Neo Color 2's acrylic, ink tents. It's unbelievable actually what you what you remember using on each, each of the pages. And again, with uh, all writing that I printed out and I soaked it in tea bags to discolour it. And then went over with that with Distress Ink. And then I think it was Prismacolor for the actual colouring part of the image. Uh, watercolour paint. Gaza Tambi watercolour paint. See, super shiny. Uh, this is Distress Ink and the Gold Ink by Windsor & Newton. Acrylic and stickles and ink tents. Neo Colour 2's stickles. Prisma Colour, I want to say. You see the Prisma Colour Black Widows. Uh, we're going up to the end here. Yeah, this was a complete fail because I tried to do the base of the skin with um, Crayola Super Tips and I hate the way it turned out. I hate it. Uh, that is another watercolour paint. I think it's the J. JD by Kata. I can't quite remember, but I will link it down below. And I haven't done at the end of page. Oof. See, that's a long book. I bet you're all bored of uh, seeing that one now. Summer Nights, Hannah Carlson. Quickly be able to flip through this one. Uh, Castle Arts pencils. Uh, I know I've done a few in here. Uh, oil pastel background and black widow pencils and acrylic black paint. This is another mixed media one, so it's got pencils, neo colour, it's got watercolour paint. This was a tester page for the 3D liquid. I don't know what it's called. I think it's by Dove Co. Co, Co Dove. Excellent, anyway, I recommend them and they're only very cheap and I have done the nameplate page so jewelry box this isn't my favorite of um, of Hannah's it's really nice still but it's just not one of my favorites I haven't done many in here so it was prismas and uh, distress ink on this one Surely I've done another one in here. Yep, acrylic background. Again, it was probably more of a testing page, this. I mean, the diamond didn't really turn out. And then I've done nameplate page again. Got Daydreams by Hannah Kyle's on yet again. The squirrel, I kept it to a Red acrylic background, I was going to change it, but now that it's completely finished, I do like the end result. Um, oh, this is a page that I'm going to work on very soon. That's why I've got the paper there, redder. Um, I basted this the other night with watercolour paint. That's literally, that's all on it. So I do need to go over that with colour pencils, stickles, glitter. Again with the ink tents and the colour twos. Yeah, you can just see with the warping of the paper a little bit. Whether I've used water. So that's everything in daydreams. We've got seasons. This is one that I'm definitely going to be pulling out the closer we get to Christmas because there's some lovely lovely pages in here so the first double spread the watercolour paint and there's nothing shiny on there I've got super tips as well I can tell of the streaks and a coloured pencil this is a work in progress I just do a little bit here and there there's again with the Crayola super tips I'm gonna have to go over them with pencil because they are quite streaky is that everything? 
I don't know, not necessarily a lady. I like, I like how she's turned out. And no, she's not shiny, is she? I haven't put uh, any gel pen. Again, with the nameplate, I even painted this side. I even dated on this side, July 19th. <laughs> this one was overjoyed, it only came yesterday. I managed to get it on Amazon, some other uh, Clara Macover. I think it worked out about £35 on Etsy. This one popped up on Amazon, just one left, £21. I couldn't click buy now quick enough. So I've only just started working on this last night. So there's pen pastels and Prismacolor. That will get finished later this evening, but I'm thoroughly enjoying her books. Now that I've got two of them. So I've got Furry Celebrations. I haven't done much. I don't think I've finished one in this. This is the one that I was working on on the live stream. This one with the lovely pumpkins. We will get back to it. I finished the moon off. Let's finish that off off camera. I know I've not done anything else in this one. But very quickly becoming my favourites. I love the paper. I just love the paper. So magical down. This is the last of my Hannah Carls on ones. I think. I think I think so. This is one of my very earlier pictures. Uh, so pan pastels, you can definitely tell it's an early picture. Ganzai Tambi with the moon. You can a little bit see it shine there. I love looking back at the older work though and see, you know, how much I've progressed over the time. I tried to go for a grey scale on that. I don't think I succeeded. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there is another picture that I haven't shown you when I've done this. Let me go back to that book. That just reminded me. I know that's watercolour background. June. I don't know why I've stopped um, dating them. It's a bit silly, really. So, yeah, you can tell here that I, there's loads of white of the grain of the paper. That's my one of my first attempts at her. Yeah, I still like it. I'd, I'd do it differently now. So again with the soft pastels for the background. I don't even think I sealed these with any, anything. Another soft pastel background. This was definitely Black Widows. Definitely. I'm pretty sure that is as well actually with a bit of gel pen. That's a, that was a cheap gel pen because now that I'm moving it up to the light it's nowhere near as shiny as the Pentel ones. And again, with the nameplate page. So let me just get this one, the portrait boot. I'm gonna drop everything everywhere. Oops. The ink case wants to come with it as well. Yeah, I've definitely, definitely done another one. Yep, here it is. I didn't show you this one. So yeah, I was uh, super proud of that one. We've got stickles in the bubbles at the top. I'm super duper happy with how this skin turned out. So yeah, we'll work on now uh, the paperback books. Right, this one is the super duper big pile. I don't know if you can see <laughs> the reflection there. Right, so I'm gonna start off with the teeny weeny one, a Hannah Lynn. Most of my Hannah, well, all of my Hannah Lynn, apart from this one, I took out and put in, um, in folders. The finished pages, the most, most of them, I'll have to do a separate clip because they're all in frames in my daughter's room. So let's get started with this one. These ones, um, I've alcohol marker based every single one and I'm thoroughly enjoying doing it that way. So I've not gone over with pencil at all with that one yet. This is a finished one. She didn't take long at all. I think that was Prismacolor. I do apologise because some of these I did a long time ago. So I won't remember every single picture. So I thought we had another one back there. Yep, yeah, so that's just the alcohol marker base. Not gone over with pencil. I have gone over with pencil with that and I think I've messed her nose up. I give her too much of a pointy nose. She looks like a rabbit. Uh, I'll call marker base and I have finished that one. 
with pencil. I love the way the hair turned out. That mint green colour. Right, so that's that one. I've only got two mini ones. So we've got Misfits. I keep these in the back of books when I'm working on them. So we have got this one. I definitely remember this one. It's uh, Ink Tense. I love the way that this turned out. Because these pile of boots here, I might not be able to show you how shiny it actually is. And it's Ganza Tambi watercolour paint on the ice or water. Let me just flick through very quickly. I don't think I've done. Right, this one. This is the one where I used the clear gesso all over the page. I went over with Copix and various different other markers and it was probably the biggest fail ever it bled it was terrible terrible have a look at the video it's quite funny actually <laughs> but i'm glad i've done it because i know not to use gesso with alcohol markers this is probably one of my favorite uh, misfits ones so that's that oh sorry i didn't say it was the winter fantasy number 10 that one this one is number three, so very easy one, not even a background on that. I don't even think I've burnished that one. That I've prepped with white gesso to test that. There's another one with clear gesso I think in here that I've prepped. Um, no, it's not that one. It's this one and I went over it with alcohol markers again and it's just patchy and Horrible, horrible. I do need to try ink tents instead. We'll see where we get with that. And we have got, I don't think I've done anything in this one yet. The Nautical Colouring Book, issue number 11. Mm, no, not done anything in that one yet. The Zombie one, number two. Uh, I know I've done one or two in here. if I can find it yep so that was in last month's uh, finished pages nothing special so yeah I've only done the one in that one I do love the images in these boots but the, the paper annoys the life out of me I suppose I could scan them and print them on better paper couldn't I uh, I'm not sure if I've done one in here or not Oh yeah, another easy, easy peasy one over Halloween. No background, it was just prisma on that. And Pentel for the buckles. Nothing else in there. We've got the lovely Dragons Assorted Hand Drawn Colouring Book. I think I've done one in here and I've started one. So, the one that I've started, yes, it was that one. So it's just Neil Colour 2's starting off. With the background, he's super cute, isn't he? This is another book that I would recommend from Etsy. Uh, no, I've not finished one in here. That's a lie. So we do need to work on that one and finish that one. I don't really like having books that I've not done at least one page in. So there's a couple of the Misfits ones that I'm going to have to start. So this is the one that I did on a video and then I finished it off as a speed colour. We've got Ink Tents. And the first time that I went over with acrylics trying to do shades on the dress and I was super duper happy with how, uh, how it turned out. Oh, and this Pentel, I can see the shine there now on the camera. Uh, there's definitely, definitely one more that I did, if not two. Yep, yeah, this witch lady, I don't like how she turned out at all. The colour choices, yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, it's done. I think that might be it, actually. Yeah, by the looks of it. Yeah, that's they're the only ones that I've done in that Halloween special. I'm not buying the Christmas one that's just come out. Uh, not my cup of tea, unfortunately. This little guy finished him. I think it was a marker base, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't think I've done any more in this one. If I had seen this in the shop and flipped through it myself with my own hands, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but because it was a special and you had to order it offline, there was nothing nothing I could do once it got here. So this is one that I did actually order offline 
uh, it wasn't available in the store at the time and I do really enjoy this one of course it's Hannah Lynn so yep yeah, gorgeous 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 lady um, I, need, I really need to work in this one I do quite like the paper in the uh, colour in heaven another lady that's finished and another one I think that might be it I've seen uh, which picture is it it's the one with the fox oh there it is I watched V's uh, colouring at V's video doing this and it's beautiful how it's turned out on hers oh I like that one see I'm flicking, flipping through these boots and I forget sometimes what's actually in them so woodland fur is this is when I started properly properly colouring so I've even done the front page. Have I done the back? No. And you can see uh, there's not much blending, no burnishing. There's a couple of the uh, pages that I haven't even finished off in here. Uh, this one. Streaky alcohol markers for her skin. So I've spoiled a completely lovely page there. This is another alcohol marker one. Oh, the old witch i do like how that one's turned out it's still again streaky i haven't blended it i haven't burnished it i haven't used any sort of blending solution no nothing but i still like how it turned out uh alcohol marker that's all that is uh black widow see i'm not even finished it but again i want to say it again i love to look back at my old work to see how much i've progressed and come on so this one was alcohol marker Stickles on the lips and the eyes. Again, this one wasn't one of my favourites of Colour in Heaven, so I'm sorry. Uh, acrylic background, Black Widow pencils. Definitely, definitely remember using the Black Widows on that one. There's too many crystals on this. I mean... Oh, yeah. There is some nice pages, but um, like that. I will never ever in a million years colour a page like that. So it just seems a bit of a waste. This was oil pastels, soft pastels, and coloured pencil and gel pen. Yep, so that's that one. The cat's one. I sent my husband to Tesco and just said, pick any colour and book up, and this is the one that got me. So this is a very, very, very early one. I'm not one for colouring cats in. So, I mean, oh, that's a nice Christmas one. I could do that over Christmas. Uh, come on, Debbie, you must have coloured a few in here. There you go, the first page. I must have thought, I have to start from the beginning when I first started colouring. Not even finished. I honestly don't remember what uh, pencils that I used. Um, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> so the next one. Recently got this the other day. I haven't done anything in this one. Literally all blank, it's just furries. Yep, so that's a Jade Summer one. I've got three of hers, I think, or them. It's not her, is it? It's a company. I've got the Light and Dark Apantisa, again, Jade Summer. For the longest time, I did think it was just one, I <laughs> think, yeah. but it's not. It's a mixture of different artists, isn't it? Uh, and there's one definitely that I've oh, yeah, that's Alcohol Mark Base. It's a bit of a rudy one, that, isn't it? Um, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Jade Summer. I'm really not. I don't know why I keep buying more boots of them. I do like that one. This is one that I'm definitely going to do with Intense. I love Turtles. Turtles, Toy Toys. So I'm definitely going to do that one. And the last Jade Summer, is it, how you pronounce it, is Kawaii. Kawaii. Kawaii Girls. I think this is two of the colouring books in one. Uh, there's one image, that's the one that I was planning on doing for Isabel's room and I never come to finish it because the hair turned out 
too streaky and I didn't like it. Uh, I think that was the start of um, when I started using alcohol markers. Some of the pages in here as well, I just that looks a bit fuzzy to me. That would hurt my eyes trying to colour that. I don't know whether it's because of the type of grayscale that they use, I'm not too sure. So this one, I coloured the picture, I was quite happy with it. And then I went over it with um, a wash of white acrylic paint and I spoiled it. I just spoiled the picture, trying to make it look uh, under the sea. And it just didn't turn out. So yeah, I don't reach for them all that often. So flowers and gems, I'm going to have to move this pile, I've got two big piles either side. Uh, flowers and gems. This is one that I really enjoy doing, enjoy the paper in this book, I enjoy the fact that it's spiral bound. It's thickish paper, alcohol marker base. I think maybe I've only done that one. Pretty sure. But I am going to, uh, ham, 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 ham. I am going to try and use my pan pastels with uh, more of a grayscale image and see how it turns out. So yeah, I've only done that one. Dream of Dragons and Dragon Kin. I know I've only done one out of here. I finished it very recently. Yep, here it is. So I've got Neo Colour 2s, I've got Alcohol Marker Base, Washi Tape. Uh, there's a bit of Pentel in these eyes and Prismacolor. This is a really lovely book as well. Same publishers as um, the next books I'm going to show you, the Jasmine Beckett Griffith books. Um, so, Pan Pastel. Trying to practice. I'm not the best. I need to go over some of the areas with this actually and blend out more and use a rubber to erase. Um, I'm sure I've done, yeah. So I've tried to use acrylic paint uh, for the cat here. Uh, I quite enjoyed doing her. I like how she's turned out. Another one, I'm not sure if I did this on camera or not. I can't quite remember. But I like how the waves have turned out. That's um, acrylic paint again. This is definitely I did one that I did as a speed colour, I believe right at the start of my YouTube journey, my YouTube journey, I've only been doing it for about three months. I think it's coming up to three months. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for subscribing. I really do appreciate it and the, the likes. I'm hoping to get, um, can this be my top liked video by any chance? Uh, I'd really appreciate it. I've done one out of uh, the Alice in Wonderland. I think I've done one. Yeah, this one. Absolutely love how she turned out. I used the glossy accents in her eyes and the deer's eyes, but unfortunately I had to mess with acrylic paint yet again, and I think I made him look dirty. But yeah, I love her, I love the, the her combination. So this is another one that I'm going to definitely work in very, very, very soon. Uh, to be honest, this one is going to go back on the shelf for probably till next year. Uh, I mean, it doesn't, just because it's Halloween doesn't mean that you, you can only colour it in Halloween or paint it. But I suppose that's what what you're in the mood for, isn't it? Uh, so again with the washi tape, I've got stickles on the wings. I'm not doing very well with blending the hurry. Is it alcohol? Yep, yeah, alcohol marker base. This is alcohol marker base as well and ink tents. So I've literally gone for a completely messy look. Um, this is not finished by any means. I need to go over with a uh, coloured pencil with that one. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything in that one. We've got, I've got two copies of Mer Mermaids one. One of them um, came on the Amazon warehouse deals for about £3 something. I couldn't not buy it when I saw it for that price. And I think it's because there was a tiny bit of damage here. That doesn't bother me one bit. So yeah, I've got two copies of this. My boots are going to go flying off the table, I think. I was going to try and make this into two shorter videos, but um, I think for time we're all right. We'll just make it into one, hopefully, fingers crossed. So this is one that I thoroughly enjoy doing. Acrylic background again. 
Yeah, I've even put white dots on her eyelashes. I do really, I did really enjoy doing that. Uh, there's alcohol on this one. Is, is it? That's acrylic paint dried. But there is some alcohol markers on this one. I'm not overly happy with how this one turned out. I feel like I've rushed it towards the end. But yeah, that's that. And I have got a second boot, so it's fine. So acrylic background. I'm not too sure why I've done that and not come back to it. Um, this is one of the very earlier ones when I first got the book. And I didn't like the fact there was all these bits and bobs to do. There's little itty bitty things. I remember doing that with ink tents. All right. So Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. So this is the only uh, Joanna Basford book I've got left. I give the other two or three away. I'll be totally honest. I don't overly like uh, Joanna's work. This this book I do like, but I have tended to use it more of a of a testing book. Uh, Crayola Super Tips on that one. I use watercolour paint and then I pop salt on it to get that weird effect. I'll pop it up to the camera because it is a cool effect. Um, uh, ink tents. Acrylic background gel pen. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, it is just a bit of a test to boot this. It's nothing. I've not done my best work in this. There's not really much else um, that I can say. I hope I don't get hated for saying that I don't like Joanna's books. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. The Pop Manga. I really enjoy this one. I only worked on this. I think Saturday evening was it this one or that one? I think it might have been the other. One. We'll see anyway. We'll see. Right. I know I've done a few in here at least. So that's definitely an acrylic background. I think I even used uh, super tips for that bit of the background. Acrylic paint both sides, a bit of washi tape and Prismacolor pencils and a bit of white gel pen. And I think all of this is colour pencil, if I remember correctly. I enjoyed doing that one. Again with the acrylic paint, I was trying my best to blend the two colours together here. I think I failed miserably, but I enjoyed the finished piece of that now this one i do love i love it she reminds me of my daughter with the long blonde hair and the really blue eyes the watercolor background and pencils and that's everything in that one we've got the pop manga mermaids and other sea creatures i do really love uh the drawings in here. So this is the one that I did uh, with the pan pastels on live stream and I, I love how it turned out. I do. I love how it turned out. Let's do a little bit of a test. No, nothing coming off. I used, just used a uh, hairspray to set it. A little monkey one. Super duper cute. Uh, is that everything? This is, I had that page folded over because this is one that I want to do in watercolour. I think that'll be super nice. This one was polish. Polish for the whole of this, nothing else. Super easy. And then we've got Mouse Guard. That I've tended to only use uh, ink tents in this one. The paper in this is lovely. I love the, the off-white colour. I love uh, the smoothness of it, the thickness. So this is a work in progress double page. Uh, Neo colours for all this bits and distress ink for these bits. Um, Neo colour twos I want to say for everything. No pencil detail in that. And I, I, I like the way it turned out. I don't think it needs any pencil. See, I need to do that one, these ones because the turtles. 
The double page spreads do make me a little bit nervous. Uh, it's a big, it's a big job, isn't it, with the double ones? These ones that I started way back when, if you go back to the start of my channel, I think I did this as a colour and a chat, uh, colour and chat, and I've not even come back to finish it. It's terrible. Oh, I forgot that I did this one. I've not even gone over that. This is all Neo Colour Two, and I haven't gone over it with water. Oh, have I got a tag? Sweaty I haven't. And uh, was the one at the back? Yeah. So that'll remind me to come back to that. I don't know how I forgot that. And this little guy from Intense. Super duper cute. It's a comic, I think, that. And they made it into a, a colouring book. Rose of the Neighbourhood. I've not done anything in this one yet. This is one of my re recent purchases. But with the Christmas pictures in, I definitely will be doing uh, Fairy Tales. Another one that I've not done anything in. Nothing at all. Uh, I can't pronounce this. I do apologise. Um, I think I've started one picture on this and it was literally, yep, the furries with wing. And then I think this one is going to be, do a little bit, do 10 minutes, do 20 minutes. I think it's going to take me a very, very long time with all the details to get this one done. Not done anymore in that one. Again, with the pronouncing the names. Um, I've only done one in this one. It was the Halloweeny cat. And I like how that turned out. So yeah, that's all I've done in this one. We're coming up to more of the more used ones now. So Kirby, uh, Kirby Rose and Myth of Morphia. This is my favourite one out of all of his. This is, I just got the 80 counter the Ohu Who Markers. So I was testing every single colour under the moon. Uh, so I can't call that page in now. It's, it's fine, it's cheap enough. I think it's only five pounds on Amazon to sell this boot. Bargain for what you're getting. So yep, I enjoyed doing the dragon. I like these boots because they flatten out super easy so you can get into the, uh, the spine of the boot. This was a bit of a fail. I probably won't go back to try and to fix that. I washed down some acrylic uh, shiny paint and it didn't dry the way that I'd hoped. Um, the wolf, the werewolf that I finished for Halloween. Enjoyed doing that. Took me a little while to get that finished. I need to do this one again with the turtles. But again with all the little itty bitty details. Have I done another one? I know I've done that front one there, I can see that. Oh yeah, the griffin. Is it griffin? Well, it's a griffin in the game that I used to play. Uh, Galaxy background. I copied a colour with clothes tutorial to do this. And then just the front page. Anamorphia. Um, I can't remember if I've actually done any in here. Oh, I'm terrible if I've not. Oh, I've not done any in that one. I'm going to have to keep that one out at the top of my... See, I like that one. I'm going to have to keep that one to one side. I've not worked in it. I feel terrible. Uh, Magic Morphia. I've definitely done a few in this one. So the Camel. That I've not finished off yet. I've done the Tiger. I remember doing that one. That's with acrylic paint for background and watercolour paint. The winds were new to watercolour paint on that one. Um, is that it? Yep, that's it. Phantomorphia and Geomorphia are the one next. I'm not overly happy with these books. They're super duper thin. Um, so that's one that I've done. I use Posca paint pen for the background on that. Um, this one I quite like. It was Neo Colour 2's and I think it was, yep, alcohol markers. That's all I've done in that. Geomorphia, again with how thin it is. Alcohol markers. Alcohol markers, I'll never come back to doing that one. I don't know why I tried to start that one. Um, I do like this one. 
this one with nail color, nail color to it, everything. I do really like that image with the uh, T-Rex skull. Uh, we've got Color Morphia, so the mix of, um, I think it's the mix of all of them actually, isn't it? I've done a few in here, so the Unicorn. Uh, I think that was oil, oil pastel. And then I switched to soft pastel, and then everything else is Black Widow. A mixture of Crayola Super Tips and Black Widow. Slowly but surely we get in there. So the T-Rex, I enjoyed doing this. Again, it's just a bit of a, so many bits to do. My gems, I might go back and try and make them look 3D. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, and that's everything in that one. We've got the Game of Thrones one. The images in this do not look like anything, anything like the characters. I know there's another Game of Thrones one that I'll probably end up getting. So I've done, I think it's Longclaw, the sword, Jon Snow's sword. Uh, I use watercolor pens for this, that I've give away now because I don't particularly like them. I think I've started the dragons there, not finished. Mm, the castle, not finished. Uh, the Sursa, not finished, and Sansa. Not finished. And that's everything in that one. Pokemon. Yes, I'm still a Pokemon fan. I'm nearly 32 years old and I still love Pokemon. Uh, I think I've only started one in this. These are the new Pokemon. Um, I still like the old ones, that's why I started this one, but um, Glaceon's turned out terrible and so has Eevee. That's why one of my dogs is called Eevee because of that. I haven't done anything else. And the last one in this pile is Ticket to Dreams. Uh, so I've done the title page, I need to go over that. That's Intense, I need to go over that with... What do I need to go over with? Pencils, pencils. I didn't actually show this in last month's uh, finishing pages because it was like the day I was filming it. So I think I'm going to include it in this coming up month's that I've finished it because I think I'm going to add actually a little bit of stickles going through the hair and on the stars. So technically, it will be this month's. Um, I know that there's definitely one more image in here that I did with Kate from Kate's Colouring Haven. If I can find it, it's the rabbit one. I bet you it's right at the back. No, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. So this is mixed media again. It's a uh, neo color twos, ink tents, pencils, gel pens, and stickles. So we'll get on to the last bit of all my coloring boots, which is the folder parts. So I will include this as one of my coloring boots because you can color in it technically. But it's just the um, journal of Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So I've been using this for. I'll try and not show the paper. I've used this for all of my uh, keeping an eye on money, uh, etc. And I have video ideas. So I'm not going to properly uh, flip through that for that reason. Right, the actual folders. I've got a question about these. And I just get these folders from a local Tesco. They're only £4. Uh, there's some that's 40 slots and the bigger ones are 60 slots. And I think they're about £4. They're not expensive at all. So like I said, most of my handling finished pages are upstairs in my daughter's room. So once I've finished this little bit, I will add the clip in of showing you all the, all the pictures in there. So this portion is the uh, Halloween. This is the... Is it the Steampunk special? Steampunk's book. Uh, and then you've got Christmas. Yeah, this is a Christmas one. And that's everything in that folder. I just prefer to have them loose like that. Um, I can't remember which ones they're from. I do own, I think, all of them there. So this, I think this is the Furries and Whimsy Girls. I can't quite remember if I'm totally, totally honest. 
this is the princess ones. I know I finished one of these, but again, it's upstairs. There's one that I based with alcohol markers. I didn't like how she turned out. This is the mythical maidens. The last Hanalyn folder uh, It's the Whimsy Island. Oh, I can't remember. I do apologise. But these ones I bought as a PDF off Etsy and I've printed them off on better paper. That's all alcohol markers. I do need to come back and finish that one off. Yeah, this is all PDFs. I can tell by the difference in paper. Um... Yeah, as you can see, I love handling alcohol markers. Right, the next folder is my favourite folder. You've probably seen it before. This is the thick one. So I keep my set of art by uh, Mariola Budek in here. Beautiful, beautiful images. I can't recommend this enough. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but if you work out the individual images uh, on Etsy to buy in the actual full uh, package book. It does work out cheaper. That was a freebie with it as well. And so was that. Succumbs, I think that's how you pronounce it. The two books off Etsy. Again, I've just printed them. I think this paper was from the range and the other paper was from Amazon. So this is a finished piece. I don't think I've done much with this. I know that there's one big fail in here. I think we're coming up close to it. As you can hear with the paper, it's super thick. It wasn't too expensive. This, I filmed the whole of this as a colouring chat. And for some reason, the video does corrupt. So you never got to see that, unfortunately. Um, I might have even took the, the fail page out because I was that annoyed. I can't remember. Yeah, I probably did, but I used uh, the Arteza Skin Tone set and it was terrible on that paper. This is just a, neat, uh, a little cheap bundle that I got off it, same printed out myself. I like dragons, that sort of thing, they're cute, aren't they? So yeah, that's them. So that's one finished one of the dragons. That's one finished image. Another one, super duper easy. The first one and the only one that I've done of the Mariola Boo deck. Um, I did this over colouring chats and live streams, I believe. I love how her hair turned out. The only thing that I wish I hadn't put the stickles there. That's the only thing. So that's a work in progress. My gorgeous mermaid. This one's finished. It was up in my daughter's room, but I've switched it out for other things. Another. Hannah Lynn, another Hannah Lynn for Halloween, and this Hannah Lynn. Right, so the last proper image, this is the one that I'm working on at the moment, the uh, Mariola Boudette one. So I'm just used pencils so far. I'm enjoying how she's turning out, so I'm do, doing that bit by bit each night. I've got all three of the specialist, uh, the col colourist special effects, sorry. So one, two and three. I find them super duper handy. I was only using them last night, I think, to colour some mushrooms. And I'm only showing this because I got a question about it over a live stream. And it was just from Amazon. I think it was about £6. So I keep all of my swatches that I've already previously done, that I've cut them out and pop them in here. Just so everything is together. I didn't have to redo them all again. They're the RTs at Everblend Mercers. I've not got them anymore. I sent them back. I really dislike them. My Neo Colour 2 swatches. Yeah, it is a very handy boot, this actually, for testing skin tones, hair, etc. etc. So now, what I will do is I will take you upstairs and show you everything that's on Isabel's uh, wall. Pages that I keep in Isabel's room. Um, so we've got the princess, I've got the elf, the unicorn, you can see me there, hi. These, I think these three, um, are the more recent ones. These are the, uh, this one 
is a body colour with colouring uh, at these. I really, really enjoyed how she turned out. And then a couple of mini ones here. So yeah, I don't think I've got any more room on Isabel's wall to put any more pictures. Although now that I'm looking, I could do with just one more just to even it out there, I think. So yeah, that's Isabel's room. So I really hope you, that you enjoyed watching this uh, longer video. And that's all my colouring boots, all my PDS and everything that I'm working on at the moment. So I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you're new. Bye.